All right, we're with head coach Lamont Paris. Uh, his team just wrapped up uh, play here in the Bahamas, uh, a 106-67 victory over Obras out of Argentina today. Um, coach, just your thoughts on your team's performance. Yeah, I thought it was another good, solid performance for, for our group. Um, we shot the ball well from three again. Uh, more importantly to me, we moved the ball around and spread the ball around and shared the ball amongst our team, but uh, we, were, we were good offensively, but uh, we also did a solid job defensively. I think overall, I have to look at the points for possession, but just happy with how the guys played and um, their general, the general feel of how we conducted our business and the mood that the guys were in. They celebrated one another, um, and those are the important things. But uh, yeah, as a general rule, I thought we played well today. I thought the guard play was really strong today from Michi, Miles, um, Zach and Jacoby, um, just talk about your backcourt because I think that's probably going to be a strength for this team uh, yeah. as we get to closer to the season here. Yeah, we got a lot of guys that can that can handle the ball and uh, make plays and make decisions, and that's uh, as you know in this league that's very important. It's critical to success, honestly. Uh, you got to take care of the ball. And uh, but we have a lot of guys that can make a shot also, and that's at all, all positions. But to have some, some veteran guards, uh, particularly in, in those three, uh, uh, Jacoby and uh, Talon and Michi, uh, those would be the guys that handle the ball the most. But then you follow that back up with some guys like Miles, who's been around a lot. And, uh, Zach's coming into his own um, as a perimeter guy. And so uh, I'm really happy with that core. Um, they've done a good job. And they, 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 uh, they also, we can, I think we'll be able to pressure the ball a little bit more than what we have in the past and stay in front of the ball a little bit better than we have in the past. So I'm excited about what they bring to the table. You mentioned uh, Jacoby there. Um, Adam listed as a captain the last two games on here. Um, did you actually? No. No, they just put that behind the problem because he's number one. Okay, you can cut that out. Jacoby, though, how important is it to have a guy coming off the bench like him that's so experienced and just steady all around? And today he made some shots, which just adds yeah. to what he can do. Yeah, he's been, he was, Jacoby was probably one of the most improved guys on our whole team last year. And, and he's fighting for that again this year because he continues just to be confident. Um, and have a high level of belief in himself. We also have a high level of belief in him. But to have a guy that you know has come off the bench in these two games, not, not that I care who starts or doesn't start, but he's come off the bench in these two games. And oftentimes when you make that move, you're, there's a lot of things that you're sacrificing, but, but there's no real sacrifice at all. He's, he's been around, he started a bunch of games last year. And so again, just to have another experienced, tough guard. He made some, some really good defensive help plays for us. And um, he's just a pleasure to be around. I enjoy coaching him, and he tries to do whatever we ask him to do. A um, couple of the new guys, new transfers, BJ Mack and Stephen Clark. BJ, really solid, 14 points, uh, eight rebounds, five assists. Steven had 10 rebounds to lead the team. Um, just talk about those two and their skill set that they bring to the front court for this team. Yeah, one, I think first and foremost, they're older, experienced guys. That Those are two of our most experienced guys in terms of games that they've played and started. So I think there's the value in that is, is hard to measure. Um, but they, they both have versatility. Uh, uh, Really, Steven on both sides of the ball. I think he's even more versatile as a defender uh, with some of the things that you can do with him, but he's also versatile as an offensive guy. He stepped out and made a three today. Um, and then BJ is, is like a, a fun tool to have in your toolbox. Uh, his Swiss Army knife on the offensive end. He can, he can uh, shoot the ball. He can play back to the basket. Um, he's comfortable dribbling at times when he needs to. And... Uh, uh, Shoots a high percentage from the free throw line, and he's obviously today he did a good job passing and creating for others too. So, um, yeah, it's good to have uh, those experienced guys in the back in the front court. Uh, two freshmen today: Colin Murray Boyle's 16 points, Arden Conyers uh, 10 points. Both Columbia kids. Um, just how pumped we talked about Colin yesterday, but Colin today very efficient: seven for seven from the floor, two for two from three. 
Arden came in there, did some things on both ends of the floor. Just yeah. how excited are you about those two guys? Yeah, love our young group. I love our young group, and, and it's not just those two, but um, but those two played minutes in today's game and went out there and were able to perform. And so I was happy that they were able to do that. Um, you know, Colin had a real tough finish one time. They both still have some growing pains defensively. That's par for the course for young guys. But man, I'm super excited about what the future looks like for both of those guys and, and uh, the impact that they'll have moving forward for this team and this program. And, Great kids, by the way, just great kids to be around. I really, I'm, I, I can't say enough about how happy and how excited I am that, that they're on our team. Um, man, it's been a really productive summer. I think, I think the way that you judge it is not in the score sheet between these two games. We played well. I'm glad that we did that. But uh, the growth that comes with being able to take a trip like this and the 10 practices that you get in the, in the travel, you, you're exposed to that travel earlier than normally we don't make a trip like this until November when the games actually start up. So I think all the, all the things that you get that put you ahead make these summers that you're able to take these foreign tours incredibly uh, uh, fruitful and effective for your team. So I'm really looking forward. Uh, it's hard to compare this team to last year's team. It's just two different things, but I, I, again, I do think any time that you have the luxury of having one of these trips and the practices that go with it, you're going to be a little bit ahead. I think we're also ahead just because we have a bunch of older guys that have been around. They, 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 the adjustments to coaching, even though I'm a new coach to, to a lot of them, uh, the adjustments to coaching happen quicker when you're older. And so I'm um, just looking forward to taking a little time off having the guys get away from us. They probably need it more than the coaches needed. And then coming back and rolling our sleeves up and really getting to work. Real quick, uh, there's a number of donors that made the trip. Uh, some of the guys' families were able to make the trip. You guys took a big group picture with everyone out on the court. How cool was that to have so much support down here in the Bahamas for, Gank, for your Gamecock basketball team? Yeah, it's awesome to come down here and have families that are able to uh, enjoy this with us and our fans and boosters that are able to enjoy this experience with us. Uh, again, the smallest part of this probably is the actual basketball games, and so. Uh, but I, but to the boosters and the, and the families and the, around us, I think it's really important. So uh, we're blessed that we were able to have a good group travel down here and support us and be around us. And you know, the games are over. Guys are going to get to spend some time with their families, uh, some of them, and and uh, so. Uh, and our boosters help make this trip possible. So I think they're all grateful. I'm really grateful for the opportunity and can't wait to get back to Columbia.